Hello everyone, this is Stanter Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have like a Japan import uh, Spider-Man figure. And yes, a guy from AliExpress. So it's not the actual company. I think this is basically like a fake one, but it's cheaper. So I decided to get it, even though it'll look a lot different. Maybe not as good as the original one. But I'll be okay with this because it's cheaper. Um, but yeah, so it's by Legend. Uh, creation Spider-Man uh, and then you get this cool looking picture of Spider-Man right here swinging through New York City I like the background the backdrop of the city here you get this nice cool buildings here and then here's the side uh, right there where it says Legend uh, Creation Spider-Man uh, and then here's the back with all the stuff in it uh, Japanese or Chinese writing here so I don't know how to read that um, but it says, uh, Lydran Creation Spider-Man. You get this cool picture of the uh, figure here. And you get some more pictures around that. And then here's the other side where you get to see the city. And then on the top it says, Lydran Creation Spider-Man again. And here's the top with the same thing. And here's the bottom. Same thing. It did come in a weird packaging. So I was a little iffy on it. So, um, but here's the figure here. You get that little plastic transparent uh saying litter and creations and then here's like the open part here if you guys want to pause and read that you can if you want you get this cool picture of the figure here and yeah so let's crack them open and here he is out of the packaging here so first let's go over his accessories which he has a lot so he has uh this long web where you get him to hold on to the end here uh to make it look like he's web swinging i like the transparent webbing here and it gets blue near like the big balls go uh get to so like it gets a little blue there it gets a little blue there a little bit blue there and then you get this other ball at the end here so yeah it's a pretty long web uh it's not bendable so you can't really bend it or anything like that you kind of bend it but it won't stay in its place real well so yeah uh, and then we get two short webs here uh mainly for like making it look like you just shot the web out or not and you get these little ports by the way too uh, which I'll show you how to get a gim to uh, port them in. But yeah, you get two of these. Same deal as the other one. It gets blue near the ball parts at the ends or here. And then we get uh, a bunch of... Oh, wait. We got this web here. So it's a little dark at the end. In the beginning here, uh, it's like an actual spider web. And you get the support here to put in onto uh, uh, the hand. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then we get these like web blobs that look like he's just shooting a web blast at someone. Uh, and then you get these ports in there too. You get two of those. And then we also got uh, this little display stand of him, a spider web design, nice gray paint. Uh, you get this cool background. It's very solid. So I like that a lot. Black, black back part there and then you should have a port somewhere in here or is there a support uh, a sport and uh, a port i don't see a port anywhere though i thought there was huh i thought there was a port somewhere for it but uh yeah there's this little display stand for him and then you get a bunch of hands here so you get a flipping hand i like the hands for this figure a lot you get the like little web shooter piece here uh, you got the black part for the inner part of the hand. And then you get these cool webbing, uh, cob webbing for the other side here. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. So you get two of these. And then you also get two of these where you actually have to... So you get that little red spew of web coming out of there. And you get this little port here. And that's where you would port the web at. So you just plug it in just like that. And then boom. It looks like it's uh, shooting the web. And then for the other one, uh, you don't attach it to the webbing. You just kind of just do that. And it looks like he's just shooting a huge spew of that cam out of his hand here. So that's cool. So yeah, you get two of these two. You get two fisted hands here. So you get, uh, I don't know if that's a whole, no, it's just like a little detail that they put in the inner part there. So yeah, two fist hands. Mm. There's a little bit of a difference here, as you can tell. One's, like, they're not really lined up here. 
but the, I think they're just missing a paint for this one around the knuckles. Anything else on the other side? Nothing. Nope. And you get some of that. Oh, wait. I grabbed the wrong hand. So if we get two fist hands, this is a web holding hand, as you can tell. It's a little bit more opened up here. And then this is where the web slinging web comes in. You just plug that in like that. Kind of just get that thumb to hold it down. Ugh, that didn't work out so well. But yeah, you would want to try to get the web to get underneath the the thumb a little bit so it stays on there pretty good. It's not that good though, but still, it holds on to it decently. But yeah, that's how you'd use the web holding hands here, or you can use it as a relaxed hand. And then we get two of the wall crawling hands, which you can see the hands are pretty good in the inner part here, which I like a lot. It looks like they missed a little bit of pain in the middle finger part here. Here's the other one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the web shooter piece here in the middle of the gray part, but yeah. And then we get this other display stand where you would have to put together. It was a little difficult for me to put together, especially since the instructions I just ripped up while I was taking it out. And then the bolt, you're supposed to put the nut in here so that way it doesn't get loose like that. But for some reason, the nut wouldn't fit inside this part here. So I kind of messed up on that part. Uh, but I think I just tighten it up like that for myself and it's still not that good. But yeah, you'd put this together. Um, obviously, I guess, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that at some point. But that was a little upsetting about that part. Um, but yeah, besides that, let's get to the figure here. So here's the head sculpt here. It's a massive, it's a massive figure. It's bigger than the Marvel Legends figures, by the way. Um, so I like the eyes for this figure a lot. And then you get the black lining around the eyes. You get some gray lining around that black part too. I like the cobwebbing. You get this little black detailing here. Uh, you get that really cool spider right here in the middle of the chest. It goes around through the back here. So that's really cool. It looks like they're missing some gray paint, but it won't be that hard to fix with just normal paint. You get some black shoulder piece here for the guards, some black padding for the torso part. You get some blue detail, uh, light blue and then dark blue in the middle. And then on the sides here too. And then some on the bicep, some down the forearm here. You get the web shooters there. I like the cobwebbing design for this figure though. It's really cool. And then you go down, the webbing keeps going through the blue parts, which I think is really cool. You get some more black detailing here, some red around the belt. The webbing paint is not that good, but yeah, like I said, it won't be that hard to fix. You get some black on the knees here. Um, then you get the red foot here. Yeah, the webbing is just all over the place for this figure. Uh, and then you get some black, I mean, blue detailing on the inner and outer part of the foot. And then some red down the middle with the webbing. And then the darker blue down the middle and the outer part there with some webbings. I uh, get the cool foot foot grips here, the tread. And then here's the back for you. So yeah, you get some blue in the back part of the calves or ankle part here. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then, so for the figure here, the torso, it's soft plastic right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, mainly so that you can move it around a little bit more. But yeah, let's go over the articulation here. So his head can move down that far, up that far. I wish they had like a little bit of a hinge for the neck here so you can look up a little bit more. But it won't be that hard to get him to go into a wall crawling pose uh, so you can look left and right too he has neck pivoting here so that's cool too you can see a little bit of the collar here but that's not a big of a deal his shoulders can move out that far that's ridiculously far he has like a little butterfly joint here so you can get it go back that far forward uh let's see here that far so you can get him to go like this so that's really good uh and then yeah, uh, he does not have a bicep swivel. No, nope, no bicep swivel. Yeah, no. He has a single jointed elbow, but that's actually pretty good. Um, and then you can also rotate that if you want to. Uh, his wrists can hinge up. 
I meant down that far, up that far, and you can also move it side to side if you just maneuver it a little bit, so you can just, there you go. You can do 360 rotation around that, and then that, so that's cool. He has a ball joint at the diaphragm here, so you can go side to side, forward that much with it, uh, backwards that much with it, and he also has a ball joint at the hip here, so you can go forward just that much with both of those, backwards quite a lot with both of them, that's good. 360 rotation, not really, that's a little bit of a, yeah, because it's soft plastic, you don't really want to do that, and then it gets in there, so I gotta fix that real quick, actually, that really bothers me a little bit, Ugh, I can't really fix that, all right, let's see if I can just try it out, there we go, that's better, so yeah, don't do that, don't try to do 360 rotation around there, uh, or there, otherwise you could probably break it, but yeah, you can do go to the side that far with both of them, that side that far with both of them. Uh, his legs can kick forward that far. You can also get it to kick out a little bit like that. And yeah, you can see that little piece there in the inner part there in the glutes. You can kind of rotate, not a whole lot, but you can rotate it so it looks like he's doing that. Or, yeah, that's it for that part. And then uh, double joints and knees, you can basically get him to do a butt kick. Uh, his ankles have that same uh, joint thing for the wrist. So if you rotate it like that, you can get it to go side to side. If I can get it to do that. There you go. Ish. There we go. So, yeah, you get it to go side to side if you want that far. So that's nice. Rotate it. There you go, and then you can just get it back to normal, like usual, like that. He also has the toe joints here, and then yeah. And let's see if I can get him into a wall crawling pose here real quick, so maybe look up, like that. I'm doing it quick because I have class here in a little bit, so yeah. Spread the legs here a little bit here, there. Bam. Probably want him to do this. So yeah, that's him in the wall crawling pose. Not that bad. So, uh, let's see here. Let me get him back up. So yeah, that's uh, him dis uh, displayed like that for right now. I'm going to try to fix that joint here for the display stand, but yeah, I think this is a really cool figure, even though it may be like a fake, I mean, it is kind of, it's an import, um, and it's cheaper than the original. So yeah, I think this is a pretty decent figure. I got it from AliExpress, like I said. Uh, it was originally 20 bucks, and I had to pay 50 bucks because of the shipping. It was from Japan, so obviously it would be a little bit more expensive than that. But yeah, uh, this is a really cool figure. It has a really good amount of accessories. Uh, the... Detailing is pretty cool. Uh, they just missed a few paint jobs for the webbing here. Um, a little bit sloppy for the web cob webbing paint. So, but like I said, not that big of a deal for me. Um, articulations okay. Uh, I like the arms a lot. Um, the legs can use a little bit more work, uh, and then the app crunch part needs a little bit of work. And I wish that he could look up a little bit more. But besides that, it comes with a really good amount of accessories, decent articulation, details are pretty good. Um, but yeah, besides that, that's it. Um, and if you guys could, please go check out my Twitch stream. Uh, I usually stream every night, every day. Uh, I do a bunch of Warzone with my buddies or Call of Duty or Fortnite. I'm going to try to do some more here. I'm going to do... so. What I'm going to do for my YouTube videos now is that I'm going to Twitch uh, stream them and you guys can watch or talk, uh, like send the messages to me and I'll try to answer. And then after that, I will re take the recording, edit it to the main parts and then upload it to YouTube. So that way it's shorter. Um, but yeah, if you guys could do that, um, my Twitch stream is the Hunter Collector, like my YouTube um, and the links in my in the description. Uh, but besides that, uh, thank you for watching.